Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into our second box of Double Masters. And I will be popping up the prices yet again. So these are as of August 8th, 2020. So I expect they would have dropped a little bit from the previous video, which if you missed it, I'll pop a link up in the corner, check it out. And by the time you watch this, the prices will have dropped again. So take them with a grain of salt. So we'll take a look at the promos here. So I got a cord of calling foil. So that's one of them. And the second one was Wrath of God. So you should get these if you buy the box. I know in some places they were delayed. So that should hopefully be addressed in the future. I think they were saying later in the month or uh, in September. Okay, so let's Crack this thing open, and of course, yes, we do get a box topper here. So we're going to be consuming the whole box here with the help of some patrons. So let's can them up. We've got eight here, and I like to can them in case they fall through the back here, which has been known to happen, particularly with Eternal Masters. Okay, so there we go. So let's introduce the patrons. We have Dylan Moore. Fred Azuna, new patron, gets his signed Jacklet Herd there, very cool. Peter Sorensen, Mark S. Baker, and finally David Griffiths, who has already done fantastically well this month. Okay, so we're going to grab four packs for Dylan. So try to just pick some random ones here. So we've got four for Dylan. Next up we have three for Fred. So I'll just grab one from each of the cons here. Peter is after four. Hungry gentleman indeed. So I'll grab these two and this one. And Mark is after two. And finally, David is getting one. All right, so we will stack these out of the way for the channel. So the channel will be Getting 10 of those. All right, so let's move everybody across here and waste no further time. I know everybody's very anxious about getting started here. So we'll start off with David Griffiths. Thank you for being a patron. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. And if I miss anything, I'll definitely catch it during editing and pop those cards right in there for the patrons. Okay, so I'm going to go through the commons as well in case we miss anything here. There are some of those Urza lands, so we've got three Urza lands to look for. Okay, uncommons. Is it Charm Dismantle? Sarah Sphinx and the first rare, Sword of the Meek. Very cool. The second rare, Cyclonic Rift. Nice. Right off the bat, I bet David is happy about that one. And the foil, a braid. Okay, so they downgraded that to common. And the second foil is Mersmith with a germ token. Okay, so we'll pop that stuff out of the way here. So enjoy the pulls there, David. Okay, next up we'll go with Mark S. Baker. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So two packs of hopefully tasty goodness here. Okay, so skipping over the commons yet again. And usually I would read the names and we would spend a bit more time on it. But we are pressed for time here. So we're purely looking through for anything of value. Pongify, I think that's still over a buck. I'll chuck it in anyway. Trash for treasure. And the rare is Rugged Prairie. So this is one of the filter lands. The second rare, Academy Ruins. And the foil, ah, Goblin Gavalier, Creature Goblin Warrior, yes. And the second foil, Dismantle. With a elemental token, he's pretty cool, so I'll chuck him in as well. Okay, next one here for Mark. So let's hope the second one is even better. We got Bloodbriar here, Tumble Magnet. It's 
Strong Gas Scavenger, Balduvian Rage, or oh, Givian Restoration, Chromatic Star. I'm not sure of that one. I'll chuck it in. Apprentice Wizard, Angel of the Dawn. Manamorphose, pretty sure that's up there. Clone Shell. Rush of Knowledge and the Rare is High Market. With some very tasty artwork indeed. The second it's a mythic worm coil engine. Fantastic pull. And what artwork do you prefer? This one or the alternate art? Leave a note in the comments. And a foil fencing ace with a foil Sarah Sphinx. And a cat token. Alrighty, so there we go. Mark, a nice mythic for you, sir. Enjoy. Okay, so now we'll pop him over here. Just rearrange things a little. Next up, we'll go with Dylan Moore. Four packs here for Dylan. Thank you for being a patron, sir. If I can get the pack open. And we've only just started opening packs, so... That's pretty sad, isn't it? All right, and if you missed the previous box opening, I'll chuck a link in the corner there, check it out. Had some tasty pulls indeed in that one. And of course, who could forget the three VIP packs? So we did another video on those a couple of days back. I'll pop a link in the corner to that one in case you missed that one. Okay, Weapons Trainer, Disciple of the Vault, Pyrewild Shaman, Creature Goblin Shaman, nice! And the rare is Time Sieve. All right. And the second rare, Stoneforge Mystic. Very nice. And the second, or actually the foil, I should say, Ancestral Blade with Chatter of the Squirrel. Yes, that is the pull to get, isn't it? And a copy token. I think these are over a buck. I'll chuck that in as well. Okay, onto the second one here for Dylan. And I don't know if you agree, but twice as nice. I'm not quite sure about that. They cost about six times the price. It would have been happier with twice the price, but you know, maybe they'll, uh, in future products, they'll reduce the prices. Ha ha ha. Okay, moving on. Enough gags. Riddle Smith Sandstone Oracle. Golem Artisan. And the rare is Adaptive Automaton. Okay, and a Merciless Eviction with a foil Crusader of Udric. Second foil, Painsmith and Merit Lage. Okay, so that one, I'm pretty sure that's over a buck still. On to the next. So I have not been checking the prices incessantly. So I'm sure I'm missing things here. Things bounce up and down. Skin brand goblin creature, goblin warrior. As long as I highlight the goblins, that is a chatter of the squirrel again. I'll chuck that in. Metallic rebuke. Yeah, so keep an eye out for the goblins because we do love them. Uncommon Zizzit Charm, Glass Dusk Hulk. That's pretty cool. Dread Return and the rare is Vishkow Blood Arbiter. And the second rare, Conjurer's Closet, Foil, Glint Sleeve Artisan, second foil, Clear Shot, and the token is Ooze. Okay, so one more here for Dylan. Hopefully we can go out with a bang for Dylan. Looking for those mythics, people. All right, we've got the salivating gremlins. A bit like us looking for the mythics. We're salivating over this box because we spent an absolute fortune and we hope we get some value out of it. Okay, Mishra's Bauble. There's a nice one. I'll chuck that in. Unlicensed Disintegration. Valorous Stance. And the rare is Fetid Heath. Another of the Filterlands. Very cool. And Voice of Resurgence with the classic artwork, Foil, Thraben Inspector, second foil, Volshock Gauntlets. I like the glow on those and a Mere Token. All right, so there we go, Dylan, quite a collection here. Pop these in here for you, sir. <clears throat> okay, who is up next? Fred Ozuna, his first packs for the month. Stay tuned. Later in the month, Fred, we'll have some more stuff for you as requested, along with the patron snap packs. If you're not sure what those are about, I'll pop a link in the corner. 
to last month's video, two and a half hour live stream craziness. So those are always a lot of fun, happy to do it. Okay, so what do we have in this next one? Expedition map, there is a nice pool. Crib swap, veteran explorer for the uncommons. Mishra's bauble again, okay. We'll take it, unless it's disintegration and a mythic chrome marks. Yes, Fred, you've done it. Another mythic and the rare Bosch Iron Golem with a foil rapacious dragon, second foil accomplished automaton and a treasure token. Okay, so Fred is cooking now. Let's see if we can get him another mythic here or something equally spicy. We're not too picky. Kozilex Predator here, Glaze Fiend, Goblin Gavalier, nice! So, looking for that Urza's, here we go, Urza's Mine, that's a nice one, one of the Tronlands. Sift Thraven Inspector, Ravenous Intruder, Creature Gremlin, Fatal Push, the hits keep on coming. Galvanic Blast, and the rare is Well of Ideas. Okay, second rare. Endless Atlas and the foil Apprentice Wizard with the second foil Sickle Slicer and a Mere Token. Okay, on to the next here for Fred. Alright, we got a Tumble Magnet. Divest! A tall Collector, Frogify, that's a fun one. Oh, Everflowing Chalice, I love that artwork. Okay, so Uncommons, we have Invigorate, Drown in Sorrow, Death Reap Ritual, and Rare is Ravenous Trap, Instant Trap. Watch out for it. And another Mythic, Sword of War and Peace. Fred, you've done it, man. Fantastic pulls. And a foil Death Hood Cobra, Valor in Acros, and a Thopter token. So at this rate, there are not going to be any mythics left for the channel, but that is okay. I'm happy the patrons have them. Okay, so two there. So what is that so far? We've got like three mythics, I think. I could be mistaken, not really keeping that close track. Okay, Peter Sorensen, you're up next, sir. Four packs of Double Masters. Okay, so we're divesting again here. And see if we can get some... Oh, Urza's Mine. Okay, there's another one. We've got the Sift, Sickle Slicer, Alabaster Mage, Dark Steel, Citadel for the Uncommon, Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, Lightning Greaves. That's a fun one for Commander. And the rare Phyrexian Revoker with the second rare Bruderclad Telchor or Telcor Engineer, Legendary Artifact Creature Artificer, and a Brainstorm Foil with the second foil Costly Plunder and a Servo Token. Okay, so not too bad so far. On to the next. So usually. These boxes you get about six mythics, I think is typical. And if you get more than that, you are doing pretty well. Uh, expedition map, here we go, there's a nice one. Keeping an eye out for goblins and anything of value. Those things are mutually exclusive. And thought sees, yes, it's not a mythic, but you know what, we're gonna take it. And which artwork do you like, this one or the Alternate art variant, leave a note in the comments, and a Phyrexian Metamorph with a foil sift. And the second, oh, nice one, Urza's Mine in foil, fantastic, and Eldrazi Spawn. Okay, so two more packs here for Peter, and then we'll get on to the channel's packs along with the box topper. I cannot contain my excitement. Can you tell? Battle Rattle Shaman! Creature Goblin Shaman! Okay, so I am I am trying to hold back the excitement. We could get terribly hosed. Mana Morphos, not a hosing by any stretch. Okay, Basalt Monolith, there's another one. And a Mythic! Kalia of the Vast! Fantastic pull there for Peter. 
And this second rare Blade Splicer with a foil Supernatural Stamina. Second foil Mishra's Factory and a Treasure Token. Okay, one more pack here for Peter. So what are we at now? Is that five Mythics or am I miscounting again? Okay, Bloodbriar. Tumble Magnet, Sungar Scavenger. Let's skip through here. Urza's Mine, okay. And I said in the previous video I referred to the four Tron lands and somebody was very upset with that. How dare you? I know there are actually three. I was referring to the whole scene. So crop rotation, the whole scene. Oubliette, there's a nice one. The whole scene with uh, the Khan on the end. And a Mythic Ensnaring Bridge. Nice. Artifact for three. So another Mythic there for Peter. Magus of the Will. A foil, Balduvian Rage. And the second foil is Cathodian with a Elf Warrior token. So that one's pretty good as well. So tuck these in here for Peter. And then let's move on to the channel packs. All right, so we'll pop Peter's stuff over there and get stuck into the packs for the channel. All right, so what will we have here? Looking forward to it. Okay, so we can skip over a lot of this stuff. I did see the goblin there. All right, so uncommons. We got Oriac Salvages, Master Splicer, Cranial Plating, and the rare is Blood Moon. Nice, one of my favorite cards. And a Rick Smithy's Slumbering Isle, which we actually did a Commander Snack video on this guy. I'll pop a link in the corner to that one in case you missed it. A foil, Remember the Fallen, Bone Picker, and a Treasure Token. Okay, so put this stuff, I'll create a second pile. We'll have rares, foils, we'll leave a spot in the middle for Mythics, I think, if there are any left. So by my estimate, we should have one more. Let's get that in focus. So, Chromatic Star, I think that was a hit. Uh, skipping through, right, so we have Treasure Keeper for the Uncommons, Thirst for Knowledge, Flecker Wisp, and the rare is Mesmeric Orb, with the second rare, Greater Good, Foil Expedition Map, I will take it certainly, and a Foil Hannah Ships Navigator with a Wolf Token. Okay, so what do we got here? Two, three, four, eight more packs to go. And then we'll take a look at the box topper. Alright, so skipping over the commons here. Chatter of the Squirrel again. Urza's Power Plant, yes! Okay, set that aside. Okay, and this is very cool. We have a Bloodshot Trainee, Creature Goblin Warrior, nice! Culling Dias, Selesnya Good Mage, and the rare is Fulminator Mage. Okay, pop him over there. Blink Moth Nexus, very nice indeed. A foil, Thopter Foundry. Second foil, O Naganata. Naganata, I think that's how you say it. And Eldrazi Spawn. So what are people thinking of this? Uh, have you picked up any VIP packs? I know Goblin Gavinier. I know a lot of people think they're a total ripoff, and they pretty much are. But I'm not sure how that compares with these ones. These aren't exactly cheap either. Okay, we've got the Buried Ruin, Smith, Espazoa, Rare, Death Shadow. Nice, that's dropped a fair bit in price. Swift Blade, Vindicator. Foil, Cloud Reader Sphinx, second foil, ooh, Urza's Power Plant, I will take that any day of the week, and a Squirrel Token, yes, the best pull in the video so far, never mind those silly mythics, actually the goblins are always the best pull, but the squirrels amuse me, so I will mention them from time to time, as you may have noticed, okay, so that is the commons. Oval Chase Daredevil Woodland Champion 
Brimstone Volley and the rare is Vexing Shusha, Creature Goblin Shaman. Nice one. All right, happy about that. Bloodsport, Thrynax, Foil, Weapon Surge, Second Foil, Mur Retriever, and a Clue Token. We need to get a Clue, right? Opening so much of this stuff, I've still got another box of this to go and a few more VIP packs on the way. Stay tuned for those videos. Should be very exciting. Urza's Power Plant, we'll set that aside. And on to the uncommons. We have Mishra's Factory, Treasure Mage, Kaldotha Flame Fiend, and the rare is Firelit Thicket. Not terribly exciting, alas. Second rare, Terastodon. I think I've seen this combination before. A foil rare, Disciple of Bolus. And a foil mythic! Nice! Kale of the Vast! Fantastic! Yes! I did not expect to get a foil mythic. That is very cool. So we pulled the, the regular and the foil version in one video. That is craziness! This box is on fire! It's even crazier than the first one. Okay, and that one was no slouch either, let me tell you. Okay, so... Let's see here. Uncommons, we have Welding Jar. Enlarge. Pentad Prism. And rare is Wound Reflection. And Austere Command for the second rare. Foil Metallic Rebuke. Supernatural Stamina and a Worm Token. I think this one might have been over a buck as well. Okay, only three packs left and then we will take a look at what is in the box topper. Hopefully it's something spicy indeed. So we'll skip our way through here. Chromatic Star, not sure if that's dropped yet. It might have actually. By the time I check on the prices, Dark Steel Citadel, Topple the Statue. Oh, Naganata and Graven Cans, another Filterland, fantastic, with another Mythic, Arkham Dagson, holy moly, we've got way more than usual Mythics, I think, set that aside, and a Skin Brand Goblin, Creature Goblin Warrior, with a Espazua Foil and a Germ Token. So, there is a bit of Mythic Madness here. I'm not keeping track. Are we at seven now, or is it even more than that? This box is just on fire craziness. Urza's Tower, set that aside. Got a bunch of those already. Okay. Next up, we have the Springleaf Drum Chief of the Foundry, Gore Clan Rampager, and another Mythic. What is happening here? Brea Ethereum Shaper. Holy cow, this box is ridiculous. And a Lux Cannon for the second rare. Foil Revoke Existence. And another Foil Defiant Salvager with a Golem Token. All right, so this box, if we pull a uh, Jace, I'm gonna say this is the best box ever. Don't like our chances, but you know what? That would be fantastic. So let's skip through this stuff. Okay, so what else do we have here? We've got Hinder, Hidden Stockpile, there's a nice one, Skull Mulcher, and the rare is Isochron Scepter. And the second rare, or Mythic, it is Doomed Necromancer, with a foil, Kuzalex Predator, second foil, Bloodshot Trainee, Creature Goblin Warrior, and a Elephant Token. And I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, what is in the box topper? We have two here. We have Crop Rotation. Let's get that in focus. Very nice artwork on that one. And the second one is a Mythic Sword of Body and Mind. This box is ridiculous. I'll pop up the total value here. That is insanity. All right, so there we have it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.